Hi, I'm Cole Mortensen, and today we are going to be talking about the violin. Could you briefly explain the different parts of the violin? Yes. So the violin is a string instrument with four strings. There is the G string, the D string, the A string, and the E string. This is the bridge, and these are the pegs which you use to tune each string. This is the chin rest, which is where you put your chin, where you play. This is the bow, and this part of the bow right here is the hair, and uh, this is the frog. This is the grip, and this is the tip of the bow. How long have you been playing the violin, and around what age did you start? I have been playing the violin for about six and a half years, so I started when I was about 11 and a half. And can you explain to us a little bit about why the violin is your instrument of choice? I chose the violin because it is small, small, so it's easy to carry. Also, it has a wide range of notes that I can play, so I can play more pieces that way. Well, can you tell us a little bit more about how you tune a violin? Yes. Um, so on a violin, you'll see that there are four black pegs on, on the end, and you'll also see four silver metal pegs next to the bridge of the violin. Those pegs are you can use to tune each string of the violin that it correlates with. But in order to check that the, each string is out of tune, you have to do, well, there are many different methods that you could do it. One method, or the common method to check, is by playing a note on the piano, the same note as the string, and to see if it matches. If it doesn't, that's when you uh, keep turning the peg until the violin changes pitch, and, to the point where it matches the note. A uh, different way could be just to listen to a tuner and ma match it with that. Could you briefly explain to us the different careers that are involved with playing the violin? Yes, the first one is there's freelancing, which is like uh, playing in orchestras, teaching, tutoring, etc. There, there is also it can also be your primary instrument when composing, and uh, another career is that you could be a soloist, but being a soloist requires uh, a lot of pra practice, and uh, that career is not as common with everyone. How do you feel emotionally when you play this instrument? Well, I'd say I feel the same as uh, say maybe a painter when they paint or a writer when they write or anyone who that who like to do art like because music is also art and when I play music I feel free I feel like I can express myself and I can create whatever I want and to me that I think that's one of the best feelings in the world and so those were the ins and outs of playing the violin there are many benefits of picking up and playing a new instrument, such as the violin. And when you want to add a new item to your list of interests and hobbies, playing the violin might just be the next entry. Thank you for tuning in. <laughs>